Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a video ranking some foundations that I have tested recently. They're just a mishmash of them really and this will just really be a speed review of these. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in to my least favorite um, and that, that is the Joa Crystal Glow Primedation 4-in-1 Foundation. And this here is just so shiny on the skin. Um, I'll put some in the back of my hand here. This is so shiny on the skin. Um, it's supposed to have like a primer in it, but really, it really, really, really emphasizes pores and looks really bad on the skin but I don't know if you can tell how shiny this is and I don't have a problem with glow and shine but this really emphasized pores right here in this region and in between my forehead and I wasn't a fan of that especially considering the fact that this is $16 here and I do want to mention that I have mine in the shade uh PFN020 and this bad boy has 24 shades on it. It's an okay shade range on this line for 16 bucks though for a drugstore foundation. I just was not impressed guys and I felt like the wear time on this was awful. I hated the way it wore. I did not like the way it made and emphasized my pores. I did not feel like it did the job and did not wear very well, which is kind of crazy because it does say all in one foundation. You figure you're going to get the best of the best out of it. You really don't and I'm sorry. I do have a standalone video for that one if you guys want to check that out, but that so far have been my least favorite. And I know I'm going to upset people here with the next one I'm going to mention, but this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Foundation. I think you can tell here, I've used quite a bit of this. I gave this the best chance that I could for this foundation here. And it, it really does, once you put it on your skin... The coverage is a sheer, but I would say this is medium in my opinion. And it gives you model skin, like it just... It just looks perfected, beautiful, healthy, glowy skin. And at first, I was blown away by this. But you give this a couple of hours, and this is completely off of your skin. My skin did not look good after a couple hours of wearing this, and it definitely did not look good at all at the end of the day. I do encourage you to check out my wear test on this. Everything on my channel, guys, is super honest, super real. And, and th the main reason why I created of this channel is so that people can see what what these foundations are actually going to look like on a real person at the end of the day with no hype no bullshit uh but this one here is it, it looks perfect when you put it on but it's one of them foundations that just really doesn't hang out for very long and considering the fact that this is a double wear product you figure that they would want to carry on their legacy in their name and make sure that they made a sheer foundation that was just gonna last through anything but unfortunately that di really did disappoint me moving along here to the beauty blender bounce skin tint oh going back to the Estee Lauder this bad boy is $43 with 26 shades. Moving back along to the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. This one here is $29 and she comes in 20 shades I believe and it, the shade rate on this is actually pretty good. For 20 shades it, they really did expand it. I think you should have not a problem finding your shade. I really do like this skin tint that it's got this glass bottle and the dripper on this. It's really cool. Um, when you initially put this on your skin I do feel like it has this blurring property. It's very weird uh, but it does have this blurring property. I did not feel like it settled into any fine lines or wrinkles. However this one is very 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 shiny so be careful with that. I do not recommend any of these last three foundations for anybody who has oily skin. This one right here I've played with quite a bit recently and I cannot figure out how to get this to wear on my skin. I've initially put it on, it looks good. Um, it does look a little too shiny for me, but as the time goes on and you powder it, it does kind of tone itself down a little bit. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but this does tone itself down a little bit, but it doesn't hang on your face for very long, um, I've noticed. Um, and the other thing that I've noticed about this one is if you do not powder it, like, 
cake powder on your face this is so moisturizing it's almost moisturizing like a moisturizer would be and applying any powder blush or bronzer or anything it's going to be patchy it's really just going to catch on because it's so moisturizing um that it's almost as if you would put an oil or a heavy moisturizer on your face and then go in with a blush or a bronzer and you're just gonna get the collection of product that right on your cheek where you initially applied and you're gonna spend a lot of your time blending it out you do have to very 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 carefully and heavily powder your face in order to use this product um, unless you're using it in conjunction with cream products which you'll probably be okay but the shine factor on this is absolutely insane that you you do feel like you do need powder um, I, I don't know I don't like it for the fact that I have used it in the past and thought I did a pretty decent job powdering my skin considering the fact that I do have dry skin I'm not going to pile powders on um, so I basically lightly powdered my face with this and then went on with blush and bronzer and it was catching and catching and catching in all of these spots and it was catching in the place that I was first putting my brush down in it would take a lot of effort to blend that out because it just grabbed onto it um so just be careful with that this is this has been more marketed on social media to mature skin types um so i would say mature skin if you're okay with the shine it's going to be okay with you oily skin is not going to work but mature skin if you want i would say it's probably best to use it with cream products. It's going to blend better. But I did have problems blending bronzers and blushes on top of that foundation. For that reason, it wasn't my favorite. The wear time is not great. Um, and I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been testing all, at pretty much everything new that's been coming out. I'm really getting tired of these skin tints. I'm, I'm going to be honest. So I think that's why my next product here is the Lawless. Um, this is the Lawless Conceal the Deal Foundation here. This is $39 and comes with 28 shades in it and I think it's got a pretty decent shade range this is a packaging here um, I do have a standalone video here it's kind of a dropper serum like foundation um, it's marketed itself to be self-setting and long wearing and I, I don't buy the bullshit but just know that that's what I'm wearing on my skin today I do feel like this has a decent amount of coverage on it but it's not full coverage I would say it's high medium at best and you do have to build it to get it to that as far as it's self-setting it's not self-setting you do need to set it yourself um, there's a bunch of bullshit claims on here but the reason why I like this one probably is because I like the coverage on it um, I do like the the finish of it as well it gives you a healthy glow but it's not too much it's not like the other ones where it's like like you dunked your head in grease um initially when i tested this out i did have an issue with the wear on this i felt like it didn't wear it long enough especially since all it has all of these claims it's self setting is gonna be long wearing i didn't feel like this was long wearing but i have paired it with the elf mint melt primer which is like a sticky primer and I do feel like pairing these together I do get a lot better wear on this foundation I would say that this is going to be a foundation that anybody can use I'm saying anything from dry mature all the way up to oily because it does have a feature on it where it's not totally matte and it's honestly not totally uh, dewy either I think a lot of the dew make also come from the cooling mint melt primer but any gripping primer is gonna work well with this as well and, and powdering it uh, honestly looking at the skin I don't think that it does a, a decent amount of blurring on the skin if I'm being honest it wouldn't be my favorite but it's the one of my favorites that I've used thus far um, for sure it wouldn't be like my favorite of the year but I do feel like this does look really good on my skin I do feel like if you do pair it with the right primer you are going to get more wear out of it and I do feel like it's okay maybe it's because I'm getting tired of wearing skin tints but I just felt like this this does have like that it's just natural it just gives you that natural finish with a little bit of coverage it's not full coverage people I think online would just hype this up for all the wrong reasons and they were probably just reading the marketing material and just squawking that back to you like a parrot um, but it's not it's not any of its claims um, it is disappointing in that regard but 
if you pair it right, it's not bad. It's like one of them foundations that you wouldn't return if you per <laughs> this is the best way I can do it. Say it is it's one of them foundations if you bought it probably wouldn't be like your holy grail. Um, but it wouldn't be worth going back and returning because it was so shitty either. It's just really the middle of the road if I'm being perfectly honest. But I made it work for my skin and I made it work and I'm not saying that I'm not happy, but I'm fairly happy with it. Moving up next and last actually is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer or Tinted uh, Sunscreen here and this one is $30. You can find this at Sephora with 14 shades. Um, so this one right here I have been using, at first I really thought that this clear part was so cute but it's like so dirty. Um, but at first I really thought like I didn't really like this, I don't think it wears very well. But I, honestly I use this as a sunscreen underneath my makeup like I've been stacking sunscreens um, so I have my regular sunscreen I put this on and then if I'm wearing foundation I'll put that on top so I like have a double foundation but this doesn't have a whole lot of coverage um can be very 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 shiny on the skin but it does tone itself down um but on those days where you're not wearing makeup I do feel like it perfects the skin and just looks perfect and, sh and gives you that coverage from the sun I live in Arizona so you always need that um, but I do really, really feel like this has made my skin look more perfected and perfect. And even when I went to the dermatologist when I was wearing this, I am on Accutane, so I have to go there once a month. He said, oh my god, your skin looks so great. I was wearing this. And it just makes your skin look like... Um, obviously it does it's not giving you a whole lot of coverage um but it just makes your skin look that much more perfected even though you're not wearing makeup so i think in everybody's makeup collection especially if you're a makeup lover like we are um i think that you need a little bit of everything a foundation for every occasion and this one right here i say is perfect for the occasion of those times when you are maybe going on a hike or going um camping or you're just going to the beach this is a very much a good summer no makeup maybe you can throw this on with a little bit of mascara and a lip balm and you're out the door and then you have more heavier coverage more glam foundations but i think that this could have its spot in about everybody's routine. It perfects the skin, it protects it from the sun. It's perfect for summer. They did miss the mark by releasing this at towards the end of the summer or into the fall because this this is definitely going to be a staple for me and it will be a staple for me coming um, coming up here in the summer as well. So I do recommend this one. Um, it, out of all of them, I would say the one that I am the most happy with or most taken back by was this but I had to readjust if you watch my standalone wear test of this I had to readjust what I thought this was um I, I, sort of watching a lot of the YouTube videos I was kind of under the impression that this could be worn like a foundation or a tinted serum but the it, it says on here it's a tinted sunscreen and and when I changed my thought process from using it as a foundation and using it more as a tinted sunscreen I became more happier with with the product um, in the way that I was using it in my um, expectation of it but anyway guys that is my video for today if you like this kind of content please give that thumbs up to me so I know to make more I really really appreciate you guys watching my video if you made it this far I truly 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 appreciate it and I hope you have a great day take care